what we need to do now is um, go to Illustrator and create um, a graphic and have the elements of the graphic animate separately as individual layers in After Effects. The requirement for this is that the uh, individual objects should be placed on separate layers and not groups or sublayers. That's the requirement, which happens by default as groups or sublayers. So I'm actually going to go to uh, File New Video and Film Document, and here I'm uh, going to choose one of the presets, which is spelled D1DV, or I can enter my values and I'll press OK. So that's what I get by default. Now here. I have a transparency grid in case I just wanted to um, take stuff to uh, After Effects. So um, to remove that, I go to View and Hide Transparency Grid. So I just see everything um, solid here. Now this is called the safe. These are called the safe frames. All right. So it's actually best to keep your elements within the inner one in case you wanted to make sure that anybody with any TV size can see what you're animating. Otherwise, if you go beyond this, some percentage of screens will not show. If you go beyond the second one, another percentage will not show. So this is the same frame area where everybody is sure to see your content. Anyway, um, let's now create something. There's my layers, so if I actually um, just draw something, so let's say L. All right. Um, what I need to do is actually create a new layer and place every new object on that layer. So let's just drag this. So that's my new layer, and that's the O. New layer, G, and new layer, and another O. Let's take these and give them uh, a color. And let's increase their stroke size. All right, and now I need to take these to After Effects. So file save as, not export, just save as. And I'll call this, let's say, logo 2. And save. I'll just accept the defaults, and then I'll switch to After Effects. And here, I'll go to the folder where I saved, and I press OK. And here, I have to import as a composition. And there are the different layers. So if I drag this down, I wait for it to refresh, or I can just bring them back in. And there they are. So now, I can do the same thing that I did before. Actually, that's the old one. Yeah, I imported yeah, a different file. But the other file has the same um, distribution of layers. So let's delete that. Actually, I need logo 2 and not logo 1. So that's logo 2. Import as composition. Um, Maybe I messed up the names, but you get uh, the idea on how to actually um, get the different layers together from Illustrator. Is this clear? All right, so now that we know how to actually use Illustrator and Photoshop to import what we need to do now is actually figure out how to get something with transparency. All right? And for that, we can use one of two techniques. And this is, of course, going to be done in Photoshop. We can either use the alpha channel technique or the transparency technique. Actually, the easier technique is the transparency technique. But I'll show you both. So let's say that I have an image. Let's say that I have this character here, and I need to use that in my work, in my composition. So I need to take um, the girl without the background and use that in my work. So in uh, Photoshop CS3, you can actually 
um, just select the background with the quick selection tool and add this all right and then inverse the selection and then that's going to be my selection which I need to work with uh, <laughs> I forgot some critical areas, <laughs> so I'll just add the part here. <laughs> All right, so let's say that the selection is good. All right, and uh, what else? Yeah, it's good now. Now, uh, what I need to do is uh, use the alpha channel technique for that. I will go to channels and uh, create a new channel. It's going to be called alpha one. And I need to fill up the channel with white color. So whenever I do that, um, this image will have an alpha channel. So there it is. Whenever I want to reselect, I can press control and click. And there's the alpha channel. So now what I need to do is choose file and save as. And here, I need to choose a format that does support alpha channel like PSD or Targa or TIFF. I'm going to choose Targa. And um, I go here. And let's call this AJ. And save. Now, the important thing is to save in 32 bits per pixel because that would actually store the alpha channel within the image. If you choose 24 bits per pixel, even if you did have an alpha channel, it will not be saved. So let's press OK and go to After Effects. And I'll get that image. And I call it AJ. That's the one. So here, After Effects is asking me, do you want to ignore the alpha? Do you want to have a straight alpha or a pre-multiplied alpha? I'm going to talk about the difference between these two options. The best um, thing to do now is to let After Effects guess the right option. So I click on Guess and I'll press OK. And now if I brought this in, the character will be brought without the actual um, background. If I wanted to make sure, I can click here and I would actually see a checkerboard behind whatever footage you have. And this is actually a, con, uh, a confirmation that I don't have the background. So that's one way using the alpha channel. The drawback is that you actually have to explicitly create an alpha channel and save in that format. So now we're going to see another way. Let's delete this. The other way is this. I still need to make the selection. So that's my selection. What I will do now, however, is delete the background like that okay and now i need to save in a format that respects transparency and keep the high quality that's the two requirements respecting transparency and keeping the high quality and the best format for that is actually png so i'll choose file and save for web and here i will choose png 24 bits um, to make this go a bit faster, I'm going to scale down the image. So image size, and I'll choose, let's say, 800. And file save for web. Why am I choosing save for web? Because I, here I see whether I'm saving the background or not. So if I chose JPEG, it doesn't respect transparency. So the background will be white. But if I chose PNG24, I will actually get my transparent background. And I'll choose save. And um, let's save in the same folder. And call it AJ. But the extension here will be PNG. So let's just explicitly add PNG here. And make sure to choose images only. And now we'll go back to After Effects. And we'll add that. That's the one. So if I dragged it down, also in this case, I'm going to get it without its background. And that's the uh, transparent background. So two techniques, one using the alpha channel, 
when using the alpha channel, the advantage is that you don't delete the backgrounds. In case you wanted to do that, to use that, you can use it. But you have to explicitly create an alpha channel using the transparency technique. You delete the background, but you save the time on saving the alpha channel, and you bring it in as PNG.